morning. I have a few things I'd like to buy today and I thought I would take you along because it's a really nice day and I'm going to some nice places and I thought you might like to see. This first up shop is one of my go-tos. The kinds of things that I'm looking for today are whimsical decorative items, lamps, wall art and plants. I had a look through the art but nothing really stood out to me. Oh, and I'm after buttons too. There were two bunches of fake plants that I liked and I had a look at some cool bottles that I thought could be used as vases. I'm really loving mosaic at the moment and it's high on my list for sure. I had a quick little look in the clothes section as well but there wasn't too much that caught my eye. Pretty cute skirt though, I'm really loving brown at the moment. Next, I'm at the biggest button shop in Melbourne. I love this place for yarn too. But look at all the types of buttons they had. I spent ages looking through and I really enjoyed picking a few special ones for an upcycle project idea I have. Also picked up some more buttons at a craft store. I passed by a small op shop that didn't have much of what I was looking for, so I was pretty much in and out. But I did spot some mosaic. The salvos had a pretty cool window display. I started by looking through the art and was pretty keen to get these frames but didn't want to walk around the shop carrying them and ended up forgetting to buy them in the end. But I don't mind, they weren't necessary. I've been wanting a pretty dish to keep some of my everyday jewellery in and these were nice. Some pretty velvety cushion covers as well. And this lantern was cool. Didn't realise at first that it had a battery powered candle. Next, I happened to pass a plant shop and everything looked so beautiful in the sunshine. And I picked up a vine plant. And on the other side of the street is this place called the Posh Up Shop. I had a look through the home items and framed art, but I found the art to be a little expensive and didn't end up getting anything here. I also saw this vest that I liked. Next shop had a lot of interesting little things. I really tried to think of a purpose for this mosaic piece, but I couldn't, so I left it behind. More bottles for potential vases. And then this next door is one of my absolute favourites. I got a beautiful vintage astronomy print here recently and I was so happy to see another similar one. I honestly could have bought so much in here, I had to hold myself back a bit. I love these kinds of bottles and I thought they were perfect to hold my recently bought fake plants. Lots of funky tableware. I love this jug too. And another mosaic piece that I didn't need. And this lamp was cute, but I didn't think it quite suited the style of our interior enough to get it. It's time to show you everything that I got. Uh, I'm just gonna start with some boring things that I got from craft store, just 
things I needed, but nothing that exciting. And I got a bunch of buttons that's gonna be for a future project. As you can see, there aren't many left in here. That's because I've already separated the buttons that I really like with the ones that I probably won't use for a little while. So these are the rejects. And then I've got my container with all the buttons sorted and I'm really excited about this. And I got this lovely little bowl, which I did in fact use when I was sorting my buttons. So that's already come in handy. Then we've got this beautiful mosaic candle holder, which looks so gorgeous in the sun. And then we've got these fake plants and real plant. I am so happy with these little makeshift vases. I think the plants look so cute in these. Also got these cushion covers already in use. And my favorite one has been saved for the end, which is this beautiful framed print. Got a matching one in the living room, so I'm so happy I found its pair. And this one is gonna go in that little space right there. So I live in a two bedroom unit with my partner, Ramsey, and we've been here for a year now, so we thought it was time to switch things up in terms of the home decor. So one of our bedrooms is a bedroom where we sleep, and then the other room is being used as like a home studio slash office. And we decided to switch those two rooms around. So we moved the bed into the other room and our desks into here. So I'm redesigning the rooms a little bit, and that's why I wanted to do all this home decor shopping. I feel like this studio room is starting to come together now and I'm so excited. Plants really help with that. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this little video. Hopefully it was cozy and just fun watching me find cool little things. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time.